I'm out here in the mountain wilderness um, in the Los Angeles area near Chatsworth and there's a whole lot of rocks and trees out here a lot of coyotes you can see the city over there I guess maybe that's Chatsworth over there and so but I'm sitting here on um, sandstone or I think it's sandstone and I had a couple thoughts for you so um, I was listening in on a phone call from a conference call from Peggy Black I think it was yesterday and I was telling her that sometimes when I try to contact my ascension guide and my guardian angel sometimes it seems like they're there like I can feel them there and sometimes it doesn't and that when I can't contact them in Los Angeles in this dense atmosphere here, sometimes I feel a sort of a sense of despair, you know, like they'll never get through. And she had something really funny to say. She said, um, when you try to call somebody on, on your cell phone, she says, you're pretty confident that when you dial the number, there will be somebody on the other end, right? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and she said, um, but sometimes you get a signal, that, uh, a, a message that says um, that there's no signal right now. You can't, the signal can't come through. And, and I said, yeah. And she said, so when that happens, you don't despair, do you? <laughs> and I had to say, yes, that's true. She said, you know that at some other time or some other location, that you're going to get through, right? When the signal is stronger. And so I thought she had great wisdom in her words there. And so ever since then, when I try and reach my guides, I, I realize they're going to get through. They're there and they're going to get through one of these times in one of these places. So here I was on the mountain today and uh, doing my best to remember my ascension guide, and that's King Solomon and to remember the energy signature and the feeling in my pranic column like a, like a, a joining or merging. And I had heard earlier, I had just an intuition earlier that King Solomon, his relationship to me in a past lifetime had been as if he were my father and I, were, I was his daughter. So, um, and that's a wonderful feeling for me. It's very different from who I am. And, in a way, that kind of energy completes me, you know. So um, I was sitting high up on the rocks behind me. <laughs> and uh, it's near the end of the day. And I started to walk down. I, I began to feel the feeling of King Solomon, which is, is rare here in Los Angeles. It's just so very dense. And um, I'm remembering uh, some words that Sandra Walter said on her phone call um, her conference call yesterday, it was something like, she said, I, I, something like, it's wonderful that you're in service here in Los, there in Los Angeles. She's in Mount Shasta, right? She says, it's wonderful you're in service there in, in Los Angeles. She says, Los Angeles is known for its, for its uh, distortions of energy. <laughs> so, Bearing that in mind, I went high up on the mountain today to see if I could get through to King Solomon or the guardian angel or anybody. <laughs> so I was sitting there and I got a very peaceful feeling, a, a feeling that I was joined by angelic, angelic forces. I was blessed with the president, presence of, <laughs> of King Solomon, and I started, although I didn't hear any words. And I started, and I didn't feel too bad about it because I heard uh, Peggy Black say that She's been contacting her uh, guides and her celestial team for all these years, and she's never actually heard any words or seen anything. She's always felt their presence. So I'm thinking, that's fine. You know, I'm complete in this when I felt them. So I started back down the mountain, and then I was just um, I was just idly walking without much uh, of anything in my mind, and I. It just came to me all of a sudden, this, this, this notion. Uh, what do you want to hear on the radio? Do you want to hear AM or FM? And so I'm going, FM. <laughs> and then I heard something like, 
um, so would you like the talk channel or would you like the symphony channel and I'm going symphony <laughs> so <laughs> that's all I have for you today may your life be a song until next we meet in love and light